Hey, Josh. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. So I saw the rod on this one window here to the right. I mean, there was a hole in the ceiling, and that one was really in bad shape. How bad was the rod on the rest? Well, me and Frank had to rip everything out of this whole bay window. All of it, huh? All of it. In fact, we went all the way down to the rim joists in some areas, and all we had was topsoil. So Josh reframed everything for the new window openings, repaired everything, and now we're ready to install the new windows. We've got our waterproofing on the outside, and we've got a backer rod on the bottom ready to set the window on. And let's look at the window job that Ann did. I mean, check this out. This is one of the original frames. Welded back, nice and sturdy. He's got a beautiful paint job on it. Yeah, and look at the leaded glass window here. Wow. She's got this all cleaned up, beautiful, both on the inside and the outside. But look at the head glass that goes up here wow. over the casement window. Beautiful. She rebuilt and repaired the broken glass. I mean, look at the lead job. It looks like it's brand new. She repaired a lot of the joints that it was needed. She is an artist, and we're not going to break these putting them back in. No, we're definitely not going to do it. So what is the process for putting them back in, Tommy? Well, like I say, we've got our backer rod on the bottom. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our steel frames, drop them in on top of the backer rod, adjust them in the opening, and we're ready to go. So we're on your mark out there? Yeah, we are. All right, let's get that small level and see how it is across the bottom. Looks good. Now we're centered there. Why don't we check the sides, see how plumb we are? Should be good if we're level. Look at that. Now we're ready to screw the frame into the opening. I'm going to screw it right here on the side. Now there's a gap between the rough opening and the frame, and I don't want to pull the frame over tight to that gap. So I'm putting a little bit of a filler in there. Now I can screw tight to that. Good. Yep. All right, this frame's in. Let's get all the frames in before we set the glass. All right, so I'll take it, push it in the bead. Are you ready? I'll hold it up here at the top. Good. Pull it up just a little. There you go. All right, so hold that in there like that. All right, now I got to get these little springs on to hold it in place. This leg goes against the lead, and then I got to take this part of it and push this leg into the hole of the steel frame. There it is, right there. All right, perfect. So now on this side, it goes just the opposite. One goes down, one goes up. You know, the cool thing is, Josh, these little springs, Frank was able to save them I think they're original to the window. Those are original? I think so. Wow. Pretty clever. I can't put a hand on it, so. OK. Nice. Wow, Josh, these look great. Yeah, these look awesome. Yeah. All right, so now, once the glazing dries on the outside, we can put a second coat around the windows to hold them in. And we still have to put that PVC trim where the windows meet those concrete malls. Then we'll paint and we'll be done. Sounds like a plan. Great job. All right. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.